today is Sunday, September 25th, 2016. I believe tomorrow, which is September 26th, 2016, will be the last day that I can file an appeal for my last court appearance with my former gem. By the way, the judge threw my case out, in case you guys are wondering. I will have something about it in the future. But this video is more about what happened after that particular court appearance. If I was really after that gym, believe me, I have all the proof in the world to send them to jail. After the stunts that they perform in court, the last time I called them for harassment and contract deceit, I know they can perform some funny shit still. Since I spoke to an official, I don't want to give that person name for the possibility that perhaps at that official's suggestion, uh, suggestions to me may be other than what it is. So therefore, I will omit that person's name. I do not want to give anyone any problems. Anyway, the official suggested to me to send the fitness facility another cancellation letter to definitely end my relationship with the gym. That official had uh, other suggestion, but I decided to do only this part only. So to further follow or elaborate on that official suggestion, I decided to record my activities during the process and keep a close eye on the matter. I am so glad that I did record my activities because after I sent the certified letter to the gym, about three or maybe three or four weeks or so had passed, I never received the green form to confirm that the gym received the cancellation letter. I believe uh, this form is 3811 from the U.S. Postal Service. Um, it's the form that you use to send certified letter. Although I did not plan to put this part of my ordeal and experience with this gym out first, now that I know how they operate, and tomorrow is the last day for me to appeal the, uh, the verdict, which I plan not to do. I don't plan on appeal it. I will, not, I, I will put this video together, upload it on YouTube, and keep it private. Once I receive anything, from that gym, either stating that I authorize anything from them or that they never received my letter, I will put this part of my, uh, this part of this video, which I have uh, many more videos to come about my ordeal. Um, I will either certify mail them a copy of this video or email them a link of this video because I will be putting it on YouTube. And if I do receive anything from them since after, let's say, for instance, they, uh, they never received the letter, um, knowing them that they realize that I'm not going to appeal the verdict of the last trial or the court appearance, I will do a second part to this video, letting you guys know what they did. The choice will be theirs if they choose to do the right thing. They shall be exposed to the public. No matter what, this video will be public eventually because it is part of many other videos that I plan on putting out public about my experience with that gem. This video, however, is not in the order that I wanted to put it out. But I need to do this video first and in case they try to do some funny shit with me. And I will have it ready in response to whatever they plan to do. Pretty much all weekend I was thinking about how I was going to start putting my ordeal on YouTube. But this part makes sense to me uh, to create this video as soon as possible. Um, as soon as I receive any of their false claim, I have this video ready for them. So now, this is what happened. So there it is. I'm going to send another cancellation letter. Let's see what they say. Okay, this, this is a copy of the letter. Okay, there it is. It says cancellation letter of non-contractual agreement 
membership. I made it clear. Okay? And I said, please do not contact me ever again. So let's see what happened. There's the letter. So after I sent the letter, the certified letter, um, I was pretty much keeping an eye for the stub. I believe the stub or the form is called uh, form number 3811. I'm not 100%. It's the green stuff. So I was waiting for it. And I realized about two or three weeks later, I didn't receive the stub back. Um... I don't know if they signed the stub or if they received the letter, but uh, but normally when I do send certified letter, it takes no more than three days that I get the the most I'll say a week to get the green uh, the receipt back to let me know that the letter was delivered. But they live right next to me, not too far from me. The gem is not too far from me. Normally, I've sent two or three letters to them and three days the most I received the green letter um, the stuff back the form back so I didn't receive it this is what I did Is she available? No. She's on a break. She's on a break. Uh, um, I have an issue here. Um. Basically, I showed her my receipt and I told her that I never received the form back to let me know that uh, the letter was delivered. And I showed her a copy of the letter that I was about to be sent um, back to the gym. So she took uh, my uh, receipt and went in the back and did whatever she was doing and came back with this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sure it's back. Okay. This is an official form. Uh -huh. Someone signed for it. Yeah. I never, I never received the card. This is the signature, and that's even close up. So if you need to go to court, there's your paper. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great. All right. Honey. Thank you.
Okay, I just edit the video and it's right now it's 934 it's 934 p.m. and uh, it is September 26 this is the time that I was supposed to uh, appeal the uh, the verdict and I didn't do it and for some reason this letter I never received the, uh, the receipt letting me know that they received it so I had to create this video and put it out either, either tonight or tomorrow and I'm gonna put this video that I'm talking in and the last part here and uh, if they decided to claim that they never received the, my cancellation letter I have this for them this video for them and there's the receipt from the postal service so already then